video facial oils anti-aging of facial oils now when it comes on to facial oils most facial oils contain some form of an antioxidant whether a or b a c or all three today I'm going to be making an anti-aging facial oil this facial oil is rich in all three it contains a high amount of vitamin A and vitamin A is a form of a antioxidant that will help to boost collagen production in the skin it will also help to smooth wrinkles and fine lines on the skin It's a sought after vitamin for aging skin it is also rich in vitamin C and vitamin C is the vitamin that clear the skin of hyper pigmentation and lighten and brighten the skin it also contains vitamin E which is an hydrating vitamin it helps to seal that moisture in the skin it is good for dry skin and it will help the skin to look soft and supple when you combine all three vitamins in one facial oil it creates a powerful anti-aging facial oil this facial oil is good for most skin type and it can be used directly on the skin or mix in your favorite moisturizer or basically just use it above your facial moisturizer so if you're looking for your own homemade anti-aging facial oil follow me to my kitchen I'll share the recipe with you and I will also show you how to use it on your skin for best result to make this amazing beauty oil my first ingredient is aloe vera Today I'm using a fresh aloe vera gel. Aloe vera will help to get rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin. It contains a high amount of vitamin C, which is an antioxidant that will also help to smooth wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. It will also help to clear the skin of dark spots and blemishes. It helps to hydrate the skin and is a perfect ingredient for smoothing the skin. So I'm going to first extract the gel from the aloe and I'm using about a two ounces or so of the aloe vera gel. Now once the aloe vera is extracted, what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop it in small pieces since I'm going to be blending. If you do not have a blender, you can choose to just pound on the aloe vera to release the gel. Now once I'm done chopping, let's add this to the blender. And we're not going to add any form of a liquid, so do not add water, just blend as is. So completely blend the aloe vera gel and take a look. Here is the blended aloe vera gel. Look how frothy this is. That's a sign that the aloe vera gel is fresh. We're putting this aside and I'm going to reach for my second ingredient. My second ingredient is dried orange peel. And I'm going to be blending this also to a powder. So I'm using about two ounces of dried orange peel. Adding this to the blender and I'm going to blend. Now take a look. Here we have our blended orange peel powder. Now that this is ready, guys, we are going to reach for a saucepan. So now to our saucepan, I am going to add one tablespoon of the blended orange peel mixture. And next, I'm going to reach for some shea butter. And shea butter is hydrating to the skin. Shea butter will help to moisturize the skin. And when mixed with the orange peel, it will also help to brighten the skin. I'm using about two tablespoons of the shea butter, pouring this in the pot along with the dried orange peel. And once this is done, guys, we're going to reach back for our blended aloe vera gel. So let's just pour the aloe vera gel in the pot along with the orange peel and shea butter. And when blend, this is about three tablespoons of aloe vera gel. And this is a special oil. This is some rosehip oil. At this stage, you can use any of your favorite oil. You can use avocado oil. You can also use grapeseed oil. You can even use some jojoba oil. Uh, I'm going to be using one tablespoon of the rosehip oil. 
pour this in the pot. Next, I'm going to reach for my final oil. And here I have some Kesto oil. Now, Kesto oil is a great oil for smoothing the skin, locking that moisture in the skin, and also for smoothing wrinkles and fine lines. A good substitute for the Kesto oil is some unroasted sesame seed oil. However, guys, Kesto oil is roasted, so that makes it good for this recipe. I am going to be using about one teaspoon of the castor oil and if you don't have the Jamaican black castor oil go ahead and use whatever kind of castor oil you have now once this is done we're gonna take it to the stovetop and we're gonna be boiling all these ingredients together now we do not want a high flame for this you're gonna turn it down to the lowest setting we do not want to scorch the oils and once this is done, you are going to leave it there for about a minute or two. And then you're going to go back and you're going to slowly stir the mixture. So you're going to stir for about three minutes. Make sure it started to boil and get really frothy like I'm showing here. This is exactly how you want it to be. Now leaving this on the stove top for about five minutes or so depending on how fast your oil has come to a boil now once this is done you're going to remove this from the stove top and you're going to set it aside to cool now take a look here we have our cooled oil and this take about half an hour to an hour to cool you want to make sure that it is cooled before you strain now once it is cooled, guys we are going to be straining so strain with either a cheesecloth or preferably a strainer like the one that i'm using in this picture Now after straining, the oil is now ready to use. You can choose to pour it in a small jar with a tight cover or any form of a bottle that you have. Now a darker bottle is best for this oil. So you're going to take this oil and you're going to use it on your skin. It is good to use all over your body. However, guys, you can choose to use this on your face on top of your moisturizer or you can mix this in your moisturizer. You can also choose to use this directly on the skin. It contains vitamin C, vitamin A, and also vitamin E, an amazing facial oil that will help to clear hyperpigmentation, boost collagen, smooth wrinkles, and fine lines, and leave your skin just looking younger and fresher now store this on the countertop and you can have this for well over six months when it is done go ahead and make a new batch so there you have it an amazing combination of ingredient but an amazing rich anti-aging facial oil give it a go guys and use it up in your favorite beauty products or use it directly on the skin thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in my next video Bye-bye.